Here's an art supply haul for you from the hardware store. Hi, I'm Cynthia. If you like art, if you want to be more inspired, subscribe and hit the bell because there will be more. Yep, I went to the hardware store and I got some stuff for art. There's like a couple exceptions, a few little things that I got at the art supply store, but most of it is from the hardware store. I got this gigantic paintbrush. I paid $17 for it. It's really big. It's like as big as my head. I've tried it already. I love it love it i like how you can work obviously in large formats in super extra large formats and get cool expressive move movement in an abstract painting style i'm really into the black and white abstract graphic kind of thing lately so i really love this paintbrush i got glasses and a mask for safety because I spray a lot of fix and varnishes and things like that. And I always find that blocking my nose doesn't really work. I can still inhale some and I really hate it and I'm paranoid with chemicals. So I feel like this is a must, right? Something pretty interesting is sandpaper. I bought sandpaper because I want to try and draw on it. I think I might put some gesso to make it white and use charcoal or other things like maybe oil pastels and different things. I want to try to see how it feels to draw on sandpaper. I know that you can mix sand with acrylic paints to give that kind of effect but just like drawing on it. And it's very handy because I need sandpaper to sand down wood panels constantly. So um, two for one. Masking paper. This is cheap paper that comes in a roll. I like using it on drawings, especially because I'm left handed and I keep like smearing everything all over. So I put this down to mask parts of my work as I'm working. And also it's good scrap paper to just like clean off your brushes and protect tabletops and so on different things very inexpensive very useful i bought this torch they say that it's a cigar lighter i guess that's what they call it but there's creme brulee on top to me it's like a mini torch that's how i i would call it but maybe cigar lighter is a thing it's used for acrylic pouring you know people that pour a bunch of paint on canvas and it creates little cells when they put silicone in the mix in the pouring mix then they use a torch like this to create little bubbles and cells and it creates a really nice beautiful pattern so i want to try this and maybe for different other things like to kind of give textures like burnt textures so i think it could be useful okay so the cheating part i bought black paint at the art supply store this is liquitex soft body i bought the biggest tub i could find because i'm really into black and white abstract painting right now and i'm going through it like crazy i bought B mars black because that's the one that i've been using for a while and it serves its purpose but someone created doubt in my mind the lady at the store was telling me that she uses carbon black i don't know she says it's blacker and it's a little glossier also so i'm just gonna compare the two see what i like better always on a quest to know more right in the vein of black i bought black gesso just because i wanted to try it a palette wetting spray to make your acrylic paint stay wet longer it's needed and I bought a little tub of white chalk because I feel like that's really useful when you work in big formats to sketch over a dark ground because you can just erase them, wash them off with water. So I plan to use this for sketching. Back to the hardware store portion. I bought this metal brush a while ago and I've been using it for a while but I wanted to include it in this because it's very useful. It creates really cool texture. If you work on wood panel you can kind of mess up your paint, your acrylic paint with this and it creates a um, worn down kind of look that could be interesting for texture in abstract artworks. Painter's tape. I go through this so much. So there's the masking tape, the regular masking tape that is beige. 
there's this green one that is less sticky and less likely to rip off your paper if you use that on paper so one thing you could use it for is to create a white border around your drawing you could also use it to tape down your papers to prevent it from buckling if you're using a wet medium and you could use it in a mixed media piece for creating shapes very very useful and like i said the beige one is more tacky and sometimes can damage your paper or cardboard depending on what you're using i prefer the green one i bought these foam rollers and like a refill pack of 10. i feel like this is going to be very useful to gesso my wood panels or canvases without having the bristles of the brush show up so i'm gonna try this and see how what, if i like the texture of it it could also be useful to maybe varnish a piece like to put some medi matte medium at the end or like with so many mediums medium type of things also i want to try this out on abstract paintings in large formats to create different kinds of expressive lines using a roller this is used to put wallpaper on the wall i bought this because when i finish a painting i usually put some matte medium on it to kind of give it a protective coat or a varnish but usually i use matte medium same reason as this i don't like the bristles of my brush showing up so my thinking is i pop a blob of my matte medium on top of my canvas and then i swoop it down in one swoop and it should give a very sleek effect without any marks that's my plan i'm gonna try it out and i guess you could create like some cool shapes as well with abstract stuff on large scale so so many uses there are so many things you can buy at the hardware store that could fit your art practice and if you have hardware store secrets for artists write them below because i want to know if you want more inspiration watch this next <laughs>